Well, hey there, friends. Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Alderaan and I are here today to talk to you about a couple really awesome graphic novels that we're super excited about, and we hope that you will be excited about them too and will want to read them. So they're really not similar at all. <laughs> in fact, both these graphic novels are super different from each other, um, but I think there's something in them for everyone. So one is a little bit more of a serious one, not to say that it's not fun too, but one has more a little more of a serious tone, and the other one is a lot of fun, more an, an adventurous one. So the first one I want to talk about that's got a little bit more of a serious story to it is called Allergic by Megan Wagner Lloyd. Allergic. You're thinking, why would I want to read a book about allergies, a graphic novel about allergies? Well, this book really reminded me a lot of um, some of Raina Telgemeier's graphic novels, like Smile and Guts, which are basically graphic novels that deal a lot with kids going through, through medical issues, right? Um, and they're still really fun and interesting and really popular graphic novels, but they also deal with stuff that, you know, young people do have to deal with. And I think this has to be the first graphic novel or even the first book I've read um, for the younger audiences that talks about things like allergies and stuff like that. So I thought this book was really groundbreaking just for that in and of itself. So the story is about a girl named Maggie who feels kind of left out in her family. Her parents are really getting uh, excited about this new baby that's coming because her mom is pregnant. So they're focusing all her, their attention on, on the baby, uh, you know, her mom's pregnancy and the upcoming baby. Her twin brothers are, you know, they're twins. They're lost in their own little world together. And Maggie doesn't really feel like she has anybody or anything that is her own. Um, so she thinks getting a dog would be the best thing ever because then she'll have somebody to love that will just be hers. So her parents are all for it. They go to look at dogs and she starts immediately puffing up like and getting hives and her eyes are watering. They take her to the doctor and they find out that she is very allergic to any animal with fur. Now this is heartbreaking for Maggie because she is not only wanted a pet to feel, you know, not so alone in her own family, but she loves animals more than anything. And the thought of not being able to have one is just devastating to her and I have to say it was so sad I really love animals too I'm sure a lot of you viewers love animals as well and just thinking about not being able to have them in my life was just devastating it's a devastating thought so watching Maggie go through this is so sad but you know a lot of people have allergies a lot of people have you know these issues day in and day out and seeing themselves represented is very very important um, I do have allergies, but not to animals, luckily, and it's just seasonal stuff, so it's not anything that's debilitating like poor um, Maggie's is. She has to, um, they have to change a class pet that they have in their school because of how allergic she gets. So basically, Maggie decides that she's going to try to outsmart her allergies and try to find the perfect pet and um, a way that will, you know, be okay. So this is basically her journey to do that. It's her journey to find love and acceptance within her family. And like I said, I just thought it was really cool to read a book that deals with something like allergies because so many people suffer from them and maybe it's not something you talk about a lot or see represented a lot. And also the, um, the, the graphics in this are really cute as well. They're really well done. So highly recommend this one. It's really great. Like I said, I definitely put it up there with some of Raina Telgemeier's books that also deal with like medical issues with kids um, in a fun and interesting way um, and in a really relatable way as, as well, right? So this is Allergic. So the other one I want to talk about is definitely more of a fun one. Now, Allergic was fun too, but this one is just a, a fun space adventure and it's called Grace Needs Space. And this is by Benjamin A. Wilgus. Now, Grace Needs Space is, the title is really cool because it means two separate things. So it means what it looks like from the cover, like, she needs space, right? Like, she looks like she's floating out in space, like, oh, Grace needs outer space. She needs the fun adventures. But it also could mean Grace needs space, like, she needs distance to grow. She needs her own, her own area in which she can be herself. So it's a really cool, um... It's just a really cool play on the title. I like that a lot. Um, so I love science fiction. I love fun, adventurous graphic novels. So I was excited to read this, and I really liked it. And the first thing I do want to talk about is the um, the some of the graphics. I marked a couple places that I just wanted to show. The graphics are really nice, but what I love about them is look at the expression. 
Like that is just such a beautiful expression of joy and awe of, of her looking at that planet for the first time. And then in another one, just kind of another one of like over overwhelming awe, but also like a little bit of fear is watching the storm come and just like, look at how well that is portrayed. It's awesome. And all of the, all of the graphics in this book are just really, really cute. I like them a lot. They're great. So basically Grace lives in outer space with her mom and she has two moms and her one mom that she lives with all the time is very, you know, um, methodical. She's detailed. She, she thinks of her as being boring, <laughs> um, because she's the one that gets things done. She's the one that she lives with day to day basis, gets food on the table, gets her to school, gets all this stuff. And she's longing for excitement. So her other mom is works on a freighter in outer space and she is going to be going with her to travel for a little while to spend some time with her. So Grace is just so excited to take this trip. She's excited to help her out. She's excited to get on this adventure. But when she's on the adventure, she finds that it's not as exciting as she thought it was going to be. And, you know, the work that her other mom does is not that fun. And also her other mom is so busy she doesn't have a lot of time for her. So Grace decides to take it upon herself to go on her own, to set off and to take her own adventure on in outer space and the different highs and lows of that. This book is just really, really fun. It's also just all about, you know, maturing and, you know, realizing that, you know, <laughs> your parents have deeper selves than, than you may have originally thought. Um, but also just about finding yourself and adventuring. And it's just really, really cool. And if you like fun, outer space books this is a really great graphic novel with wonderful illustrations and I loved it a lot it was super fun grace needs space well those are what we've got for you guys today I hope that both these graphic novels sound really fun and interesting maybe you've heard of them before maybe you haven't um, maybe you want to check them out read them if so you can do that at Farmington Community Library they are available there um, and also thank you so much for watching and please give this video a like have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends.